It's a case of kids helping kids. What started out as a small idea between th three girls in Holman is turning out to have a big impact. News 8's Jenna Traum has their story. Mike and Lisa, these three girls put their heads and their hearts together to create their own website called Kids Care. Now their hard work is being recognized in a magazine called I Echo, which shows off the creativity of kids in our community. When Sasha Gilbertson first told her teacher Laura Sandness what she and her friends wanted to do for their class project, Sandness was stunned. What I thought originally was, wow, that's a great project and I have no idea how we're going to do this. Sasha and her friends Devin Reeves and Bryn Danes created a website called Kids Care. It's because we're kids and we um, care for other kids. Kids who are facing very grown-up challenges. Kids Care is a collaboration with the Children's Miracle Network. People can donate toys or money to buy toys for kids who are hospitalized with serious illnesses. It probably means the world to those kids to have to just the feeling that someone cares. The toys will go to play areas like this one at Gunderson Lutheran. It might look like it's well stocked with toys, but child life specialist Jenny Noel says there's a huge need. That's because the toys here are sanitized with heavy duty cleaners between each patient which wears them out quickly. Plus, certain toys like stuffed animals and board games just can't be sanitized. Sometimes we need to send um, toys home because we cannot clean them, but we also like to send toys home with kids because it's a nice incentive when they have difficult tests or procedures done or they have a hospital stay. And Sasha says it's inspiring to know that what started out as just an elementary school project can have a real impact on other kids' lives. You can never really believe that you're going to make a huge change, but I guess this has really made me realize that you don't have to be older to have to be able to make a difference. Tomorrow morning, those three girls will get their first look at the issue of iEcho magazine that's going to feature their project. A representative from the magazine is going to visit Evergreen Elementary to have the girls open the first box of this month's issue. Very well-spoken kids, and congratulations to them on that very neat project. And if you would like to donate toys or money to the girls' cause, you can visit their website at evkidscare.webly.com. You can find a wish list of toys and other items from Children's Miracle Network on that site.